certain time. So, Waishimua Mutatu Samehe, you will still make one or two comments. Lakina shukuru sana kwamba mungu ame onelea ni vizuri tuwe nanyi hapa leo thika thika wakati ulikuwa tunasoma kwa shule was the industrial city of Kenya and we are bringing back that message that going forward this city will grow and will keep on growing to the glory of God and the benefit of the people of this country Mimi naomba mnisomea uh, maybe senator wewe ndio utanisomea uh, are you carrying an english bible eh nisomee deuteronomy mahali tulikuwa deuteronomy 8 and at verse, verse 9 as kwa litusomea from verse 10 on thanksgiving and uh, his words are completely on really, really spot on kwamba this is a time kenya to thank god na sio tu kenya bali ulimwengu mzima sababu Mungu ametupatia afuani kwa mambo ya coronavirus na tunaomba ipotee ndio watu angalao waanze kujimudu I want you to read just verse 9 and you are taking time I'll use it asoma bas 8 and the microphone yako i find one Deuteronomy chapter 8, 8 and verse 9 verse 9 Ehe Bible says a land where bread will not be scarce Ehe a land where bread will not be scarce and you will lack nothing you will lack nothing a land where the rocks and a iron, land where the rocks and iron become iron actually are iron and are you iron. can you can dig copper out of the hills and you can dig copper what is copper kwa Kiswahili kopa eh hey, jamii ni kopa shaba ni shaba eh hey, askofu tusaidie ni shaba eh hey, mahali sasa milima yenyewe ukichimba unatoa shaba as oka we are proposing and we thank you bishop for being so bold so direct kwamba We have a right to speak our minds anywhere. And you have come here to pray specifically for Oka. Because we are citizens of this country. I just want you to know one of the things we are proposing as 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 Oka Oka ambayo imekuja kuokoa Kenya ukitaka sema okoa Kenya na Oka ni milima yetu hii imejaa shaba kopa na iron hata sao mambo before that is talk about barley and wheat the bible is talking about all of that lakini sehemu nyingi hizi ambazo hatujatambua ni inji yenye urithi mkubwa sisi wanaoka tuna mipango na sio ile ya kupanga panga watu wengi wanapenga tunapanga lakini tunataka wananchi wajue Mungu ametunukia nchi hii na mali rasmi ya rasmi uh, ya ajab kama shaba in kitui kwa mfano shaba imejaa kopa what we propose to do is use hiyo mahali Mungu ametupatia mali nyingi mali rasmi i'm not quite sure i'm getting it correct hiyo mali tutaitumia na kwa muda usiozidi mwaka mmoja ndugu yangu Cyrus Jirongo is an expert kwa muda usiozidi mwaka mmoja miaka miwili tutakuwa tumelipa madeni yote ambayo yanadaiwa nchi hii tukitumia hiyo hiyo mali yetu ambayo hata hatujaanza kuigusa because our hills are full of copper Thank you for coming for asking us to come or allowing us to come and thank God from Thika from this very humble church background I see that because of your vision the vision of this ministry you are already you have two radio stations and one radio station and two television stations which are live 
So we are talking to about 3 million Kenyans from this tending, tended place. Na tunatutarudi, hata kama tukichelewa kidogo, tunawana kanisa hili litakuwa haraka sana. And so we bring ourselves, we bring all our blessings and support. Tutaongea, tutapitia tu makongene, tuasalimie watu wa wathika. Ya makongene ni kupitia tu, tuseme ya sante. Pamoja na wao, corona inapotea at 1% or whatever, positivity rate. Alafu tuelekie githurai, na aturudi nyuma, ni lazima tukokuwe Kenya hii, na oka. Sema okua Kenya na oka. Kwa hivyo mii nataka tu ni wakaribisha ndugu zangu eh, ambao wamepata na fasi. Kuwapata vile walivyo can only take God. You cannot assume this. So ndugu vile tunakaa tu ndugu Gideon Gideon Moi ye upenda kusema yeye ni kitinda mimba. <laughs> Gideon Moi alisema yeye kitinda mimba tumwachie kazi hii asukume mbele. <laughs> Karibu sana ndugu Gidi. And, and you know when you want to see mtu ambaye aongei urongo kwa siasa i can vouch for this brother his own upbringing hata wakati tunakutana sisi kama wanaoka i can give out this as a secret nobody beats gideon moi tukisema tukutane saa mbili tunamkuta pale na yule anaingia mwisho ndiye analipa faini sasa mimi nimeumia na na ndugu wengine anaitwa Musali hapa na weta. Because Gideon we anafika on time. And that is what he say, that is the timing mzee Moyo alimfunza. Gideon karibu. Asante sana ndugu yango. Your Excellency Kalonzo Musyoka. And we all know God's time is the best time. Bishop amba ametualika hapa leo na sisi zote amba tumefika hapa kusikia neno ya mwenyezi mungu. Yango haita kwa mengi sepokuwa kusema tu niko na furaha tele kukua pamoja nanyi hapa. Bishop amesema kwamba kanisa hii ni kanisa ya deliverance ambayo ina deliver watu hawa na okoa watu kwa wazingile njia ya shetani au kutoa hawa kurescue hawa na kuchukua hawa kwa njia ambayo inafaa na njia ambayo tunajua watelekea kwa nyumba ya mwenyezi mungu pia sisi vile ndugu Stephen Kalonza amesema tumeshikana under the umbrella ya Oka koko Oka koko wa Kenya kutoka mashida ambao wameshapata na hii shida is not of their making hii shida is the, is the making of others and as I was saying when I was in uh, Kajado and in Kakamega, that what bedevils Kenyans, the high cost of living, their insecurity, the loss of, lack of jobs, unemployment for our youth, the medicine, dawa, your hero, will be found under the umbrella of Oka. And I want, when the time is right, put our policies, which we'll be bringing across or taking across the people, put it to test. And you will see that the policies that we'll be advocating to Kenyans will be totally unmatched by any other. One thing I'm very proud of my colleagues here and those who I'm working with under OCA, whether the principles of the members of parliament, is that in their prism, in the eyes of Kenyans, they are trustworthy. And there is nothing 
which can be greater than another human being trusting you with their lives and with their future. So, yangu haita kwa mengi, ndiyo kusema tu, tafadhali, tafadhali, nina wa si. Kwamba, tukienda mbele, ujue kwamba kura zenu ni maisha zenu. And as we go forward, I know that now is the registration. Make sure that all of you take this opportunity, those who have not registered, to register for the forthcoming elections in 2022. Bishop, thank you very much for this opportunity. Asante. Ndugu anayefuata ni ma DVD. Eh ma DVD. Pesa mfukoni uchumi bora ANC. Ha. Asante sana uh, mheshimiwa Steven Kalonzo Musyoka, Bishop na wakuu wetu wa kanisa na viongozi ambao tumeandamana nao. Kwanza nataka ni wasalimu kwa jina la Yesu hamjambo. Leo tumekuja hapa na mimi nataka nishukuru sana wale ambao walipanga tuje hapa na tena nishukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Kwa kawaida wanasiasa wanataka kuenda kwa makanisa makubwa pahali Mipangilio imekuwa tayari alafu wanafikiri hayo ndio usawa ambao uko katika taifa letu lakini leo bishop musili na kushukuru kwa sababu umetuleta kwa kanisa ambayo inahitaji usaidizi hata kwa biashara Watu wengi ufikiri kwamba tukizungumza sera za biashara tunazungumzia tu yale makampuni makubwa makubwa. Lakini tukiangalia katika taifa letu wale ambao wanahitaji usaidizi zaidi ni wale milioni ishirini wafanye biashara wadogo wa medium and small enterprises ambao tunataka tulenge. Kwa hivyo thibitisho letu hapa ni kusema hatubagui wakubwa kwa wadogo. Si lazima tuende kwa kanisa kubwa. Mungu yuko pahali popote. Na leo tunataka tutunikiwe baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kanisa hili ambalo linahitaji usaidizi. Jambo langu la pili. Nataka tu nisisitize pahali mwenzangu amewachia Mheshimiwa Gideon Moi amezungumzia sana swala hili la kujisajili kama wapigaji kura na nimeona kwa baiskili pale kuna jamaa moja anaitwa Wanja anatetea sana mambo ya kuju, ku, kujisajili mimi naomba wabunge ambao wako hapa IBC inalalamika kwamba haina pesa kutosha za kusajili wananchi ambao wako tayari kusajiliwa na mwezi ndio huo unakwisha jameni bungo letu la kitaifa demokrasia ni msingi wa ajabu kwa taifa letu tafadhali kama bunge mutenge pesa zaidi ili IBC ipate nafasi ya kuongeza muda wa kusajili wananchi la mwisho tunasimamia uchumi bora huduma bora hata mheshimiwa Kalonzo anasema msimamo wetu wa uchumi bora na pesa mfukoni kwa sababu gauge ya uchumi bora ni kuona kwamba wamebaki na pesa kwa mfuko na ndio kwa sababu tunasema tunataka tupanue uchumi wetu fika ilikuwa muji wa industry lakini ukitembea thika sasa utapata viwanda vingi vimefunga kwa nani kwa nini gharama ya stima imewagonga 
ushuru umewagonga ndio kwa sababu napata animal feeds hapa Kenya ziko na ushuru unapata kuku kutoka Uganda ni bei rais mayai kutoka Uganda ni bei rais kwa sababu kule vyakula vya kuku havitozwi ushuru lakini hapa tunatoza ushuru mambo kama haya ndio ni lazima tubadilishe ndio wakenya wapate ajira ndio wapate kazi na waweke pesa mfukoni na hatimaye tupunguze kodi hii ndio lengo letu kama oka usimamizi bora wa uchumi wa sheria mkulima apate nafasi mwaka huu tumeona wazazi wamelipa school fees mara nne kwa wazazi kwa hii mpangilio wa CD, uh, competency based curriculum Kenya wapate nafuu. Covid imetugonga ndio lakini wengine sera zetu zimeleta utata katika Kenya. One Kenya Alliance inataka ibadilishe. Na la mwisho wewe ndio una uwezo wa kuchagua kiongozi wako. Tuachane na porojo ya watu kujaribu kutushurutisha na kusema ni lazima awe hule ama ule. Nilisema hayo nikiwa Kakamega na mimi narudia hapa na nitarudia kila pahali. The leadership comes from the people and the people must decide. Kwa hivyo chukua kura you are the one to decide who is going to be the leader of this country. Not a few leaders seated somewhere and imagining that they shall decide who shall be Kenya's leaders. We want this to be determined by the ordinary voter in every part of the 47 counties. God bless you all and God bless this church. Asante. Indeed, indeed. Uh, my DVD. The Bible says where two or three are gathered in his name. He is indeed in their midst. Hapa tuko wengi zaidi. Kora mea mungu ni watu wawili. Two or three. So, hebu angalia vile tulivyo. Um, nitamuita sasa ndugu weta. Moses Masika Wetangola. The troubles you have seen with that brother. Eh, tia gas tumekula Kenya hii. Mundu kumundu. Baba Skofu wa kanisa letu hili wale wachungaji wako nimesikia majina mazuri mazuri kuna apostle kuna prophet kuna preacher tunafurahi sana tumekuja hapa leo kuungana na nyinyi kuomba Mungu kumusifu Mungu na kumshukuru Mungu kwa uhai aliyotupatia kwa inji mzuri aliyotutunukia na kwa upendo tulio nao kati yetu kama wa Kenya mkitoona hapa leo ila ina yote hapa ni uso wa Kenya umuji wa thika is one of the many nations of Kenya where you will find kila mtu ukitaka kutafuta mtu rukana yuko hapa thika ukitaka mtu wa ingoi yuko hapa thika ukitaka nani yuko hapa thika na hii ndio Kenya tunataka watu kuishi vizuri watu kupendana na nchi yetu kwenda mbele vile tulivyo hapa pia tunajua changamoto tulio nayo katika nchi yetu sisi kama wanaoka tunataka kuhakikishia wananchi tukija kwenu 
hatutaendelea kulalamika na kulalamika kuhusu shida tulio nazo kwa sababu tunasijua na nyinyi mnasijua tunazielewa na nyinyi mnazielewa ile tunataka kuwaletea ni hakikisho la jawabu what are we going to do that is different that is going to change your lives and the face of our country kama wanaoka tumekuja pamoja kwa sababu we believe in this country and we believe in the unity of purpose of the people of the great republic of kenya tumekuja pamoja kwa sababu tunajua matatizo tulio nayo inataka na inahitaji kukarabatiwa na wale wenye uwezo and we are tried tested trusted team that can fix these problems of our country juzi rafiki yangu moja amekuwa kule nje ya Kongo muji unaitwa Butembo akanipigia simu akaniambia senator hapa Butembo lita ya mafuta ni shilingi moja ya Kenya na hiyo mafuta ikiletwa kutoka Warabuni inapitia Kenya ipitie Uganda ipitie Rwanda ndiye ifike kule Butembo why should fuel in gongo be more cheaper than kenya kwa sababu ya yale wenzangu wamesema ushuru usioeleweka ushuru wa kuumiza mwananchi and if you want our economy to grow it is not about imposing punitive taxes on each and everything to hurt wananchi but to liberalize and reduce our taxes grow the base of the economy and the economy will grow by leaps and bounds kusaidia kila mtu kwa hivyo oka inawahakikishia wa Kenya tukishika usukani ushuru utapunguzwa up to 50% of the current burden you are carrying <laughs> ili mwananchi aweze kupata nafasi ya kujiendesha kimaisha ya kugrow family yake kama wanaoka tunaelewa ukulima wote Kenya wa kahawa umedidimia wa mahindi umedidimia wa mpunga umedidimia wa machani chai kelele ndiyo hiyo mnaisikia we are going to pay attention kwa sababu Kenya dunia mzima inajulikana as an agricultural country and you can never have a proper agricultural structure in a country without state subsidy properly organized and reaching the real producer the small scale farmer na hiyo ndio oka itafanyia wa Kenya ukiangalia nchi yetu wale wa Kenya wanaishi ngambo tunawaita diaspora Kenyans mumeambiwa wanaleta pesa mingi Kenya kuliko hata ile pesa tunapata kwa majani chai au kwa kahawa but we treat them like they hold our economy we don't oka ina mipangilio ya kutosha to give those diaspora people of Kenya who bring the golden egg to our country tax breaks and opportunities that will make feel and be proud of going out of this country to bring money to grow this country to taiga inji ambazo tunajua zinahudumia wananchi wao huko nje kama Philippines kama India kama Cuba mimi na Kalonzo tumekuwa mawaziri wenu wa kigeni na tumetembelea hizi nchi we know what they do ukiwasili inji ya ma Philippines Manila hata mfanyakazi wa nyumba a housemaid from Saudi Arabia akiwasili anapokelewa kama mfalme kwa sababu yeye ndiye analeta pesa inaguza nchi yao. Hapa mtu akitoka Saudi Arabia ile kupeguliwa anapeguliwa katika kiwanja cha ndeke unafikiri huyu ni mlanguzi na mtu ameleta pesa kwa nchi yetu. These are some of the things that we are going to change as oka. Na ile tunawaomba wananchi one trust us. 
Two, believe in us. Three, support us. Four, walk with us. We are going to give you a deliverance that will turn Kenya a country where hatuta kuwa na mkenya yeyote ambaya anavumilia kuwa mkenya, kila mkenya atajivunia kuwa mkenya. Nikimalizia, ni kusitiza yale ndugu Gideon na msali wamesema. Ata kama unapenda kalonzo kiasi gani. Ata kama unapenda weta kiasi gani ukimuona unaimba unarukaruko ukisema mundu humundu. Na wewe huna kadi ya kura. Maana yako kwangu na kwa kalonzo iko kidogo zaidi. Lazima uwe na kipande na kadi ya kura so that you are able to elect the people you like and in the process you will be rejecting the people you don't like. And that is the Kenya we must have a democracy that works. Give an opportunity to those who can fix this country. And as we say in English, the race belongs to the strong, but give everybody a fair start. Everybody is on a fair start, but the strong is none other than Oka standing before you. May God bless you. Cyrus <laughs> Jirongo. Umenekanele noti ya miatano jirongo life Ako hapa Thank you Haji Bishop Musili Prophet ambaya nasumamia kanisa hili Waamini wote ambao mekuja siku ya leo Amujambo Amujambo tena Ndugu Kalonzo kariba maimifanya mukamba Juzi alinipeleka ruai kwa kanisa ya wakamba. Haka nipeleka Saudi B kwa kanisa ya wakamba. Sasa mimi zijui kama muna mukamba mwengine ambaye anapenda wakamba kuliku kwa kalonzo. Kila wakati akipiga simu, anasema jirongo, unamahali unaenda kuumini leo na muambia sijapanga. Lakini tukienda mahali, aniambi ni kanisa wa kamba njo wengi. Naona yu maneno ya kalonzo. Aki kupitishia mahali, wanazikia anata yu, sijui, ni kuseo, ni. Kwa hivyo ni kiongozi ambaye anapenda watu waki. Hakuna uongozi ambao awanzi nyumbani. Kwa hivyo, jamii ambaye kalonzo anatoka ndani, Nataka kuambia, ukienda mkua wa Western Province, na unataka kuzungumuzia kiongozi mkamba. Watatuambia, tunajua moja tu anaitua Stephen Kalonzo Musioka. Nanyelewa, na nyinyi lazima mumpatie nguvu. Kupatia Kalonzo nguvu, sio kumucheze ile disco tuliona hapa apana. Kupatia Kalonzo nguvu, Ya kwanza ni maombi, kwa sababu lazima mungu wawe mbele. Ya pili, mchukue kura. Ya tatu, kama umefika mwaka wa kuchukua kipande, lazima uchukue kipande na uchukue kura. Na hii, sisemi kwa upande wa maali kalonza anatoka peke yake. Katika taifa nzima la Kenya, Tungependa wa Kenya wapewe na fasi sawa. Kila mahali, mambo ya kutoa vitambulisho, ipewe kipawa mbele. Na wananchi wote, wachukue kura, ili wakati wakupiga kura, kila mwananchi awe na sauti. Hapa mbele tunaenda, na nimefraia maubiri ya leo, ya Bishop Musili. Ameomba hii inji iwe pamoja. Ameomba hii inji iwe na amani. Kwa sababu yote ambayo tunapanga, bila kuwa na amani, bila taifa la Kenya kuwa pamoja, yote ni bure.
tumweke Mungu mbele tunajua kama binadamu upungufu ni mwingi lakini wale ambao wanapenda vurugu Mungu atusaidie hiyo spirit mbaya itoke kwao tuwe na taifa ambalo unapenda ndugu yako unapenda jirani na unajua ya kwamba kila mmoja wetu ni muhimu hakuna mtu aliandikia Mungu barua akamwambia nataka kuwa mkenya kwa hivyo wewe ukiwa mkenya wewe ni mkenya kwa haki mahali popote unaishi unaishi hapo kwa haki mimi najua ile shida kila mkenya anapitia tunajua kama wanaoka unyonge wa wakenya wakati huu shida zile wanapitia wakati huu tunajua tuna wakati na hata ilikuwa kwa vyombo vya habari mama anachukua mawe anaanza kupika huko Mombasa anapika mawe tu ili mtoto azipige nduru afikirie chakula inatengenezwa anangoja anangoja mpaka mtoto analala na njaa tumesikia mahali pengine ambapo mama anamtoa mtoto yake uhai na anajitoa uhai kwa sababu ya shida wa Kenya wanapitia hii mpangilio ya oka mimi katika roho yangu naona ni kazi ya Mungu kwa sababu ni vigumu sana kukuta watu ambao wapendi vurugu watu ambao ni wakweli watu ambao unaweza kuamini wote wakiwa kitu kimoja na kitu muhimu watu wa Mungu ambao mko hapa sisi wote ni watu wa Mungu lakini tuna jeshi la Mungu ilo jeshi ni nyinyi askofu na wewe prophet na wengine mtuombee tuweke Mungu mbele ili yale mambo tunayofikiri kufanya taifa hili ifanyike hakuna taifa ambalo limeendelea mali popote ulimwenguni kupitia mambo ya ushuru haiwezekani hata wazungu wale ambao wali colonize inji yetu walikuja hapa kutafuta rasilimali inji inaendelea kwa sababu ya rasilimali unaanza na rasilimali zako zikikosa enda nje za nje utafuta rasilimali na ni kutumia hiyo rasilimali natural resources ambapo unaweza kupatia mwananchi kazi leo katika taifa la Kenya kama ni kuzungumzia jambo lolote ni ushuru yako ndio inaenda kuleta euro bond yet inji hata kama Amerika unakuta bonds zimepatiana kwa sababu ya wale watu wanaenda kusoma huko sisi tuna rasilimali nyingi ambazo tunaweza kutumia kutengeneza bonds tuuze tulipe madeni tuanzishe viwanja kila mtu apate kazi na ushuru irudi chini na sisi kama wanaoka tutapanga hata kama itakuwa wiki moja tuzungumzie utajiri wa taifa letu na tuseme hii utajiri tutaigeuza namna gani ili kuendeleza maisha ya mwananchi wa taifa la Kenya hakuna jambo ambalo tunaweza pata kama wananchi kama tutakuwa tunabaguana jambo lingine muhimu unakuta kalonzo ni mkamba kazi zote ni za mkamba haiwezekani tunataka kama wakamba ni asilimia kumi kazi zote za serikali wapate asilimia kumi kama waluya ni asilimia tano kazi zote za serikali kwa jeshi kwa prisons wapate asilimia tano jamii yetu wa kikuyu wapate asilimia yao saba wameru na waembu wapate asilimia yao tatu tunataka haki kwa kila mkenya
Tunataka wale watoto mama mboga ameumia kupeleka shule. Hakumpeleka shule aje awe mama mboga. Alimpeleka shule kama investment. Yule mtoto apate kazi atoe mama yake kwa sokoni, mama naye akae ale vitamu kwa sababu investment yake ilikuwa kwa mtoto. Na itawezekana wewe unauza mbuzi, unauza ngombe kusomesha mtoto. Alafu unaambia mtoto, sasa kuja uanze kupigana na mama yako kuuza mboga. Ati wirani wera. Tulisomesha watoto wapate kazi muhimu ili maisha yetu ibatilike. Hatukupeleka watoto shule waje waanze kupigana na ndugu zetu kwa mkokoteni kupepa mali. Tunawapeleka shule watoke huko wapate kazi kubwa watoe familia zao katika umaskini. Na kwa hivyo ndugu zangu wananchi wa taifa hili mfungue macho. Muangalie. Mujue ya kwamba mtu akikwambia mambo yengine wewe ujue unataka kupanda na kwenda juu. Na hiyo ndio oka inaamini. Mtu akakwambia ushuke chini yule anakuangusha. Hakuna mtu ambaye anaanza safari ya maisha ili awe maskini. Naona ndugu Kalonza amesimama tutakuwa na mkutano. Tuwapatie sera zetu ili muelewe tuna ubongo wa kutosha kugeuza taifa la Kenya. Tuna ubongo wa kutosha kusukuma hii nje mbele. Hatuzungumuzi saa 24 ya uchumi bila kujua tunasema nini. Kalonza anaimba hilo kila siku. Mheshimiwa Musalia analia kila siku anataka kila mwananchi awe na pesa mfukoni. Tuna mipango na njia ya kuhakikisha kila mwananchi ana pesa mfukoni. Narudisha asande kwa kanisa. Na ninashukuru hii kanisa. Makanisa yengine yote ikiwa kama nyinyi kukubali kutupa nafasi kwa sababu yale tunazungumzia mambo ya maisha ni kuhubiri wewe kama muhubiri lazima uzungumuze huyu atatoa wapi sadaka ya kutoa chumapili kwa sababu asipotoka toa sadaka kanisa litaanguka na Mungu si maskini wewe ni bishop gani kazi yako unataka kuhubiria maskini kila siku Tunataka uhubirie matajiri hata wewe uende na Range Rover kwa sababu sadaka ni ya kutosha. Sitaenda kupita hapo. Narudisha asante, asante Bishop, asante Nduku Kalonzo, mubarikiwe asante sana. Bishop Apostle Musili umepata Apostle Mwenza. Cyrus Jirongo. Najua yeye yeye akiangalia kila kona anaona mkamba tu. Kaza ametoka ametoka amepatiwa bibi yake anaitwa Kanini kutoka Matu. Huko ni Kiambu bwana. <laughs> Majority sio wakamba na utaona hivyo. So we are in Kiambu. Uh, lakini briefly ili ni mweta uh, bishop yule ambaye our brother from Kanu wants to run here. Briefly nirudie maneno mane niliyosema Kakamega. Kwanza tulisema tutafanya kazi masaa 20 na mane. Kama tunataka kufukuza kutokuwa na ajira unemployment ambao wengine wamekubali mipangilio yao imesababisha kutokuwa na ajira na huku analia wao wenyewe. Tutaonyesha njia Shift ya kwanza saa mbili mpaka saa kumi. Shift ya tatu saa kumi na moja hadi ama hapo up to midnight we work out the details na wale wengine usiku ama nane mpaka saa mbili asubuhi. Tukifanya hivyo tutafungua uchumi wa Kenya hii. Nilisema hiyo nitarudia kwamba ili inji tupanue uchumi economy yetu uchumi wetu itatubidi tukate ushuru kwa asilimia hamsini. ni jambo ambalo tumelifikiria 
and we know it can happen in order to grow this economy by ile kwamba if you have more people ambao wanatoa ushuru because it is easy to kulipa ushuru kilichoka sasa mkenya analipa ushuru kwa kaunti ya Kiambu analipa ushuru Nairobi analipa ushuru it, it, we are the most we are the over, most taxed nation in the world kwa hivyo ifikirieni kwa hivyo watu wengi wafanya bihera na jificha wana ficha kwamba wametoa uh, profit aina fulani because wanajua itaenda na taxman eh. kwa hivyo if you want to make it attractive to pay taxes it is possible cut it by 50% grow the economy horizontally mambo haya tunayozungumza tukiwa tuna ujuzi and that way hakutakuwa na haja ya kupeana handout handout ati unpatie mama mboga leo akule kesho asahau if you want to give a human being ability to survive give them the fishing rod na sio kumpatia samaki anakula saa hiyo in fact watu wanararua pesa because watu wanaenda wanapeba wanabeba pesa bishop musili wanasema hii milioni moja ni hawa milioni hii alafu hapo watu wanaanza kurarua pesa hizo heshima ya wananchi wa Kenya inatukataza kushiriki kwa mpangilio kama huo ambao unadharau heshima yako watu wanararuana na hawana heshima hoka itarudisha heshima ya kila mwananchi wa Kenya tumesema kama vile tumesema tena free second education tulianzilia free primary free second education tukasema hivyo leo monday hii because sasa muhula wa kurudi shule in one week holiday mzazi analipa monday next monday analipa tena mzigo huo tutaondoa na tunajua hizo pesa zitatoka wapi ni zile za wafisadi ambao wamechukua ni zile wanaonga watu nazo tuondoe mzigo watoto wasome we have said this kwa hivyo tutazidi kurudia mambo haya na kasema hata ofisadi hatutaongea juu yake because mutaona we are tested we know what ails this country sasa kwa sababu tunangojua kidhurai hata makongeni tutapitia tu bishop kuja utukaribishe ndio kwanza saira azajue saira saira azajue tuko kiambu very brief one asante uh, sana asante sana mheshimiwa steven karonzo